Hey there everybody and welcome back to Fable 2. Last video we finished up the Love Hurts side quest, ruined somebody's life but improved our own by marrying a hot undead wife and I actually... Sex with a ghost is apparently the same as having sex with a human because apparently all of her body parts got reanimated and our hero has the worst luck he just, you know, sticks them in him and he just gets them all pregnant. So I do have another kid. This is my third child and actually my third boy. Apparently I'm just incapable of creating female offspring. But um, yeah, for those of you who want an update on my family, I now have three families, three wives, and three children. So my hero has been mighty busy. I will have to remember to visit Lady Grey a bit more often just because of the way that she is being, you know, posh and proper and kind of uppity but um, anyways I'm gonna worry about that later in this video I'm going to be doing a follow-up quest to uh, the love hurt side quest so as soon as you have completed the love hurt side quest regardless of if you married Lady Grey or if you let Victor marry her the cemetery mansion is a quest that will still pop up um, if you marry Lady Grey Victor is going to leave and if you let him marry her the two of them will leave together and the mansion will always go up for sale so this quest should be available to all players assuming that you have finished up uh, Love Hurts it's worth 3500 renown and what we're going to be doing is exploring the area that Victor's grandfather had left for him uh, Victor never went in there his grandfather told him not to um, but he left us a key and we just gotta go see what's in there because the curiosity is just at an all-time high I, you know, I think I'm a bit of a jerk because I just completely disregarded everything that Victor had told me. He told me not to marry his, like, reanimated love interest, and I did. And then he told me not to go into his grandfather's crypt, which I'm going to do anyways. So yeah, I'm kind of a jerk, but such is life, I guess, as a hero. You gotta make some sacrifices. Um, so we're going to go to the area that Victor described. This is a unique area and this gate up here will always be locked uh, until you get to this quest. It's open right now because I had opened it earlier, but you do have to do this quest in order to be able to gain access to this area. So we're going to go and enter Shelly Crypt. Okay, so this is Shelly Crypt and as soon as you enter you know it's kind of bad news because a hollow man starts talking to you. And at this point, basically telling you to go away, there's some secret treasure that these hollow men are guarding. So they're going to threaten you with a couple of threats, but uh, we're going to do this quest all the way through. Our hero's seen a lot of stuff, and he's definitely not scared of some hollow men, so we're going to hop down and uh, continue on. Obviously there's some, some tombs here, so there's a bunch of people that have been buried here, obviously. I mean, it is a cemetery. I'm just going to let the hollow men finish up a couple thoughts here. But that chest looks awfully tempting. I think I'm going to open it. I'm not going to heed your warnings. I'm a bit of a rebel. I'm just going to open up this chest and uh, roll with it. So in this chest is this mythical red stone. And this stone is actually, uh, to my knowledge, the most expensive gem in the game. So this quest essentially allows you to get one of the most expensive items in the game, which is completely optional, and it also allows you to get a silver key. Now assuming you chose not to do this quest or it glitched or, you know, love hurts glitch and you weren't able to finish it, um, there is a 51st key. There is 51 keys in this game. Not sure if that was a glitch or if that was intentional on Lionhead's part, but um, if you aren't able to come into this crypt for whatever reason, you are still able to collect all 50 keys. So, um, anyways, obviously we didn't heed the Hollow Man's warning, so uh, we're not getting out of here scot-free. We're gonna have to fight our way out. Um, they were obviously guarding this very, very valuable stone for who knows how many centuries. Um, obviously, Victor's grandfather knew a little bit about it, but Victor is, you know, too much of a, a wuss to really go and go against someone's warnings. He kind of just kept to himself. But um, this is actually a really fun fight. There are a lot of hollow men. Um, it's a really good short side quest and uh, great from, for some experience, really. 
I quite like this quest. I just like the whole cemetery mansion type thing in general. I've, I've mentioned that in a couple games. I really have a, a soft spot in games for haunted levels and things like that and, um, you know, graveyards and cemeteries and things. So I just find this whole thing kind of interesting. But I mean, hollow men are not a big deal. We've been fighting hollow men since, you know, our hero's birth, essentially. Our hero's descent to being a hero, so um, it sh shouldn't be too much of a big deal. There's a couple of them, like the bigger hollow men, that will shoot lightning like you saw there, but um, most of them are just, you know, the, the little hollow men, henchmen sorts of guys. And then each time you defeat a wave, you'll be able to advance on, so make sure you come prepared. And hopefully there's some good uh, stuff for us to dig up as well. Eh, ah, a potion. Oh, and a treasure chest. Thanks, doggy. I don't know why I didn't see that. I guess maybe just because it blends in with the walls or something, but um, go ahead and grab this. Ooh, a troll strength potion. Yes, please. I'm going to need all the potions I can get so I can fully level my character. Alright. So now we need to uh, create some platforms by uh, shooting at the little stone. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in a bit better and get that. The, the thing I hate about the blunderbuss is it is really not good for precise aiming. Um, such a shame, but anyways, if you have one of your uh, skills that allows you to zoom in and aim, you should be able to get that stone on the wall pretty easily. And at this point, I don't know how you wouldn't have that skill, because I think it's actually the first one you learn in the skill tree. But as you can see, I'm aiming right at it, and the blunderbuster shot is going way off to where the actual thing is, and I don't think I have another gun, so this might take me a couple tries. Um, yeah, unfortunately, Blunderbuss is not the most reliable gun for things like this. It's really good to have a nice, uh, a nice pistol or something, but um, I'll see if I can get this. I'm zooming right in on it, and it's still not getting it, which is just blows my mind. But there we go. So you need to do this in a series of. Um, events. So you just go ahead, do the strength one, and they're going to give you a couple of skill ones to do. Now, luckily, from what I've seen, this does not have a time to it. They, they don't um, time this, because sometimes, in a couple of instances, what will happen is if you don't hit these switches in a fast enough time, they're actually going to go right back to the beginning. But I guess they couldn't technically do that with this puzzle because it would leave you stranded on one of these little islands and you wouldn't be able to advance on. So, um, yeah, just take your time. Make sure you have the skill that allows you to uh, aim your gun and get a really good mark on those little skill orbs and then easily you'll be able to move on. So I think we're, we're almost out of here. Uh, really shouldn't be that much longer. Mortal, you have taken and here's the hollow man that's talking to us. He seems pretty uh, intelligent, actually. He's a big guy. To this world, the holy object we have sworn to protect. Its removal shall cast us into an unspeakable dimension of pain and bring us everlasting torment. So. You can't have it. Okay, so this hollow man is going to uh, try and stop you as soon as you leave the cave. Or we shall have no choice but to tear off each of your limbs one by one and perform the hollow dance of Ur Sarador upon your remains. Alright, so at this point, you can give him the gem, or you can attack him. So, I did a bad choice in the last video, which I feel bad for. So, you know what, I'm actually going to give the gem to this guy. Um, as you can see, I have more than enough money. I have, like, a million... I almost have two million gold at this point that I actually probably won't use. Um, plus, I have the gem of sorrow from Chesty, which I can sell for a lot of money. I do have another file where I have taken this gem, so I will be sure to show off how much you can actually sell it for, but just for the sake of not casting these hollow men into eternal demise. 
Um, we are going to return it. I'm not sure if you actually have to go all the way back. I think he, I think he just takes it from you, which is great. The hope of never again awakening, and never, ever having to perform the hollow dance of your silent door and door and door and door. Are you gonna let me go, buddy, or are you just gonna chant? No, he's gonna let us go. So you get some pretty good renown if you give the um, gem back, and I. Th I want to say that it sells for about 65,000 gold, so, you know, you can get a very good profit off of it, but um, you can finish this quest however it is that you'd like. And then with that, we are actually prompted to just leave the Shelly Crypt. So yeah, we kept the peace really well, and now it, to finish up the quest, you have to leave. Okay, so... Not only have you avoided being trampled in the hollow dance of whatever the hell, you've laid the souls of ancient warriors to rest. So, we've done a good thing and we haven't already tormented these poor souls, and we get our renown. So, we do leave empty-handed. We don't have that gem that we can sell for an absorbent amount of cash that we will never need. Um, so I feel good. I feel good not being selfish. Uh, I felt that... I screwed Victor over already enough in the last video, so by respecting his wishes, you know, by not screwing over his grandfather and all his other generations, I feel like I'm slightly justified. So that is the end of that quest. Like I said, very short, very sweet. If you had chosen to take the gem, all you'd have to do is just fight those hollow men in that chamber before you were allowed to leave. So that is it. That is it for that quest, and um, we now only have 10 quests in our log, and um, the only one that I really have left to do is Treasure Island of Doom, uh, because this is a recording that I have done after co-op, and we finished a couple of quests in co-op. So, Treasure Island of Doom is next, and then we are actually ready to go and find Reaver uh, after all of this time, even though we've, we've had more than enough renown for uh, quite some time. So... One more quest, guys. Hang in with me. We'll get that finished next time, and uh, then we're going to hopefully get on with some story stuff. So thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you later.